This video tutorial will show you how to change the width, height, typography, and many other style options for elements inside the B-Builder on various devices like mobiles, tablets, and desktops separately. Let's begin with a sample page imported with the Car Rental 3 pre-built website. Of course, pre-built websites come styled for all devices, but we have made some changes to show the issues our users stumble upon when modifying or building out their layouts. Since the desktop version is already done, we can move to the tablet preview of the page. To do that, hover over the preview options and choose tablet. Entering the responsive mode, you'll see a new bar on the top that lets you quickly change between devices. The first section needs some modifications. The main heading could be a little smaller. Edit it and go to the typography options. Here we can change the font size and the line height. Now as you can see on the screen, options that can be set separately on various devices have small icons next to them. You can also click on those icons to switch between devices. Options without those icons will not change and stay the same throughout all devices. Moving on, I want this heading not to be 100% wide on tablets so that the round image can be located on the right side. Now to do that, change the element's width using the plus and minus icons. The icon will now move next to the heading. We can also change the alignment of this image to right. That looks great! Okay, now the last thing to do here would be to align the bottom image left and make it a little smaller. Okay, continuing to the next section, we can see a typical problem with images and text on smaller devices. Since the image will get smaller and the text will continue to take up more space, it's not going to look very good. So let's make the image larger and move the rest of the content below it to change that. This section is composed of two wraps. Now, usually we would change the width of the left wrap using the plus and minus icons, which would be correct. Instead, I want to show you that you can also precisely change the element's width. While editing the wrap, go to the Advanced tab and click on the Dimensions tab. Here, elements can have a custom width and height, which applies to all building blocks inside B-Builder. Let's set this wrap to be 500 pixels wide. As you can see, the content has moved below, and again, we want to make the next wrap 100% wide using the same custom width option. It could also use more space between the image and the heading. There are many ways to do that, but the best way for responsive design would be to change the margin or padding values. Let's do that to the bottom wrap. Edit it and go to the Advanced tab, where you'll find the Spacing tab. I'll add 20 pixels to the top and 50 pixels to the bottom. The following section is composed of a heading and a couple of steps. Now, as shown, the steps are under each other, which would be great for a mobile layout, but not a tablet in this case. Using the custom width option, let's make all wraps 25% wide. You could use the plus and minus icons to do that, but this will take you a lot of time. Now you could argue that filling custom width values to each wrap takes up a lot of time, but I'll show you an easier way. If all elements have similar styling, you can only change the first element, then right click on the wrap and copy the style. After that, just right-click on each wrap and paste the style, and that saves a lot of time. Okay, moving on to the last section, we see that it does not look good on tablets. Now, first, let's take care of the font size. Just as we did a moment ago, go to the typography settings and adjust the size of the line height. We can see that there is too much space on the top and bottom of this section. If we check the section spacing settings, we can see 300 pixels of padding was added to the top and bottom. We need to reduce that to about 100 pixels. There, that looks much better. 
Now, another thing we can do is change the background image for each device. We can go to the section settings and choose another image. The background properties like position and size can also be modified for each device separately. The last thing to check is how our website looks on mobile devices. Starting from the top, we can see the text looks good. We can maybe scale down the heading and center everything horizontally. The round image can also be centered, but the picture below does not look great on mobiles. Let's hide it. Edit the image, go to Advanced, and find the Responsive tab. Here you can show or hide elements on each device. I'll disable Mobile, which will make the image grayed out. This option applies to all elements inside B-Builder. We can see that the image below does not fit the screen. This is because we've set a custom width for this wrap previously. To change this, edit the wrap again and change the width. Again, we can center the content below the image, including the button. Editing the button, we can also change its size by modifying the padding value and font size. We'll also add some margin to the top to create more space. Now, the following section needs some work as well. We'll center the heading, and like before, we changed each of the steps to 25%. Now, it will look better if they are below each other, 100% wide. We can use the copy-paste style method to make it faster. Lastly, we can add some padding to the bottom of this section to make it look better. 60 pixels will do just fine. Okay, the last section also needs some work. As usual, we'll change the typography and center the text. We could also modify the padding in the section and change the background image so the font is more visible. All right, it's done. Okay, let's just one more time scroll through the desktop, tablet, and mobile versions of this page to see if everything is correct. Okay, all is looking great, just how we wanted it. As you can see, B-Builder lets you tailor your design for all devices without the hassle of adding custom code. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.